Uh, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. At uh, my gratitude uh, also to uh, UP College of Mass Communications and uh, Freedom for Media, Freedom for All Network for organizing this forum. There are so many depressing trends these days that uh, press freedom sounds like a contradiction in terms. The upside is, in free societies, journalists are known to be bearers of bad news. As a wise man once said, in countries where the media is full of only good news, the jails are probably full of good people. There are good people in our jails, but many of us are also still out here, alive and kicking. So allow me to be a Pollyanna today, a bearer of optimism. I actually have what some may see as a low benchmark for optimism. Simply put, we've survived. We're all survivors in this room. First of all, we've all survived the worst of the pandemic, far from a guarantee when many loved ones didn't make it. And for those of us like myself who got COVID in that terrifying first year, we don't take our existence now for granted. This must mean something. Secondly, we survived Duterte. Not all of us did. But those of us in this room are living to tell the stories of those years. Even after that regime did all it could to silence us. Instead, one of our colleagues even won a Nobel Prize and has been calling attention around the world to our collective plight and heroism. There is an absence here that we all feel. The absence of Luis Teodoro. I can imagine him scoffing at any complaints we, have, we may have about our contemporary world. Having spent seven months in prison during martial law, along with thousands of others. He lived to tell the tale of martial law and was an example of staying true to his principles and acting on those principles until his last breath. Which brings me to someone who is still very much alive and very much with us. Melinda de Jesus, whom we will all be listening to in a few moments. Most of you know of her as an explainer and critic of media, who comes up with thorough and thought-provoking reports on occasions like this. I've known of her long before I met her. As a young journalist in the 1980s, I looked forward every week to the next issue of Veritas, the news magazine she was editing at the time. Like many in the alternative press during martial law, Veritas was brave and enterprising, but I also recall its elegantly biting prose. And I was probably not the only one who told himself, I also want to bite with elegant prose someday. So thank you, Melinda, for that inspiration. In today's report, Melinda helps us recall that Duterte's animosity to the press was, quote unquote, contagious. But we can also say that courage is contagious. That has been passed down from Luis and Melinda's generation to mine and to Cara's generation and now to many of you in the audience and the current leadership of the PCIJ. May you all continue to infect each other with courage. Maraming salamat at mabuhay tayo lahat.